There are so many people who don't have the resources or the means to afford a wheelchair. That's especially true for children. And that's why Israeli NGO Wheelchairs of Hope creates affordable wheelchairs to help children all over the world. It's a wonderful incentive, and today we're lucky to have Wheelchairs of Hope's co-founder and managing partner, Pablo Kaplan, with us in the studio. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So first, I'm just curious how you came up with this idea to begin with. Yeah, it's interesting. Actually, I have been working 35 years for a major multinational plastic company. And... Um, after retiring from the company, actually, uh, my partner and my life partner, Hava Rochstein, and I decided to bring our knowledge of democratizing products for those in need in the world. And we had the idea of doing an affordable wheelchair, and the rest is history, actually. That's incredible. When you say affordable, how affordable is it? Well, uh, we put actually three main uh, issues to develop the new chair. First of all, to do a enjoyable chair, because today there are existing wheelchairs, but uh, they are just a reduction in size of an adult wheelchair. So this design actually was the first issue that we put it on, on our table. The second was to reduce the, the weight, and the third one was to bring it at $100 any place in the world. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Uh, basically, very it's, it's a very, a very lightweight uh, product. It's designed based on existing wheelchairs, uh, wheels of wheelchairs, a metal frame and plastic parts to create a very colorful solution, etc. And um, the, the issue is that children that received it as a, as a first chair or a replacement of an existing chair actually uh, get in love with the solution because it's very colorful and very light, and they don't feel that they are, in, again, in a medical device. So it changes in a little bit their self-esteem. It looks extremely comfortable to yeah. me. I'm just yeah, looking at it. Yeah, it's very strong and very, very durable, actually. It was built to last. Amazing. Yeah. And can you tell me how it works? So somebody makes a donation and then somebody across the world could receive the wheelchair? We based all the projects. We have projects already in 16 countries. And uh, in all the projects, we base it on two pillars. One is the receiving party, which is normally a children rehabilitation organization in each country, because you need to do it in a responsible, professional way, the, the provision of the chair. And the second pillar is, of course, the donating part, the funds, which are local uh, organizations, foundations, uh, banks, uh, um, World Health Organization participated in a few projects in Africa. So in each case, and also Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs of Israel, uh, through uh, its developing department, uh, also participated in a few projects uh, worldwide. So children from any country could potentially receive this? Or yes, absolutely, yes. Of course, in the Western countries, uh, the, the insurance covers uh, the, the wheelchair solutions. Also in Israel, there is not a need for an affordable chair because we, we do it through, through our insurance services. Socialized medicine. Yeah. But in uh, undeveloped countries, uh, this is a need because uh, millions of children uh, don't, uh, don't, uh, are not covered by any insurance. And the second and not less important issue is that children with disabilities do not participate in education. So by actually bringing them an affordable mobility device, we actually empower them to go to education, which is the, the, the main change that we are bringing here. So how could somebody potentially contact you? Is there a website? Is there... Yeah, www.wheelchairsofhope.org. www.wheelchairsofhope.org. That's our, our uh, website, and from there you can get uh, all our information Amazing. and our contact. Amazing. Well, uh, really, thank you so much for being here today. Looking forward. Thank you thank very you. much.